morning, everybody. Uh, I'm ready here to go to work now, but um, hopefully gonna be listening to audiobook for the Iron Rifles. I was hoping it would be done yesterday, but I was not. <laughs> um, I'm going to do the audiobook. I have less than two hours left of it, so I'm hoping, praying I finish it today. Um, because I'm just ready to read something else at this point. Um, I feel like it's taking me too long and it should have taken me this long at least, but it's been about a week. It's just me being hard on myself. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping like between work I can listen to the audiobook here and there and then when I come home, just read just a physical copy and then just finish it today. And just I'm, I'm just can't wait to see how it finishes though. That's what I'm curious about more than anything. But it's a really good book though. I, I recommend it. Hello everybody, it is Monday. Um, I haven't really vlogged a lot today. I uh, came home from work, I took a very quick nap to recharge, uh, did my little self-care routine, and just ready to go to bed soon. Uh, according to the audiobook, I haven't been able to listen to the audiobook much today at work, but according to the audiobook, I have about an hour left of it. I really want to finish it tonight. Um, I do have a few books that I'm hoping to start either not theoretically, uh, this is by Ali Hazelwood, or oh, You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight by uh, Kaylee Bayon. So, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, those are the two that I'm hoping to pick up afterwards. I don't know. And then the other one that I'm hoping to pick up, it's Kinder Keepers. Uh, I know my sis younger sister has been reading it, and I know I like Disney, and I like, kind of like the mystery. So I think it's a good combination for me. And it's on Kindle Unlimited, thankfully, all the series. So I might pick that up on my Kindle as I read a physical, one of these physicals. So we'll see about that, but I'm hoping to finish it today. Just please, I hope. I really just want to finish the book already. Um, I think I'm at a point I'm just like, I'm trying to finish it up and hurry it up. Uh, because I just want to read another physical copy. And listen to another audiobook at this point. So wish me luck. finished the wine rivals holy crap i cannot wait until december for the sequel um hopefully sometime this week i'll do like a little review of it uh but yeah definitely loved it five stars for me 
and the audiobook was really yeah, well, really great too. I feel it was a great combination for me to do between the physical and the audiobook. Uh, now for the top decision. You know, I'm on a high after reading this one, so do I go with Love Theoretically or do I go, well, you're not supposed to die tonight. Uh, at least with Love Theoretically, I do have an audiobook so I can search off uh, through the week. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm still debating it, but at least it's time for me to go to bed, rest, and then tomorrow will be a new day. Good morning, everybody. Uh, here I had a little hard time deciding my next read. But I decided to go with uh, You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight. I checked the audiobook and it's about six hours versus low theoretically it's 12 hours. So I figured I'll start with a short one. Hopefully get through it uh, early quickly and then go to love theoretically right after that. Uh, so I'll be listening to the audiobook on my way to work. Uh, hopefully I'll listen while I'm working, uh, when I'm not too, too busy. So uh, let's get into this one. Well, I woke up for my nap and I was not. Story of my life. <laughs> um, here I have a sample of my next tea, uh, watching it now, taking my notes before taking over. So here we go. I'm getting my notes ready, watching this. But good timing on this because we have a couple packages. I got three packages, two of them are books um, that I got. Uh, one of them is like a pair box, I don't remember what it was, but here you go, let's unbox them. Okay, first one is from my ship, so let's unbox it. The thing I like about these envelopes is that they're so hard to cut. I feel like I have to cut like right in the middle just to be able to get in here somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not very practical. I think the other ones, either the boxes or the envelopes, but they're like easier to handle. Jeez! Not with it, but here we go. Ooh, this is what I've been looking forward to. The Brothers Hawthorne by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I'm thinking about doing like a little vlog dedicated to just reading this series. I don't know what you guys think. Comment down below. Let me know if you want that. But this is for a tour that I'm doing, book tour. Uh, this comes out August 29th, so uh, pretty pretty soon. Next thing I got, this is something that I ordered from Amazon after getting my headphones. I thought it would be really nice to keep this on my desk. I'm hoping it's just one of them because. There was still a picture and I don't want to, definitely want one, but there you go. It's a little stand-in here for the headphones. And since I bought the new headphones from the Zigzag shop, I really want to be like taken care of on my desk nearby when I need them when I'm editing, so I really, I really, I, I'm glad I got this. Make sure it was fine. Oh, very simple. Thank God! Okay. But I think it's better if I put it on the opposite side, because over here. And I got it rose gold because pretty much everything on my desk is rose gold. I don't like pink, but I like rose gold. I like it. So here's a little stand. And then we'll get my headphones. There we go. It looks so nice. I wish my headphones would have been rose gold though. I feel like that would be a good bunch. But I got the greenish because I like toy boys. And I thought it was the closest thing that I got to that. So um, now it has a little spot on my desk. Now it's for the last box. So this one uh, says for my BFF. So let's get this going. Okay. Oh, let's see what we got here. Decorating icing. It's black. So this one. Okay. Let's see what else. Oh, we need to have a figurine in here as well. And the little, the little cupcakes. I forgot what they're called. Oh, sheesh. We have a whole thing to do um, chocolate fudge uh, cake mix. That's interesting. That's the first time I get that in a box. Okay, and for the book, we have Death is by BFF. And this is all oh, from Wattpad. There you go. Thank you, Wattpad. Wattpad's always great with their boxes, always bringing something different. And they end up giving a lot of things. Oh, here we have a bookmark in the ship of the coffin for that as well. Uh, this one, let's see, it comes out September 5th. So, let me make sure I got everything inside. Yeah, I did. Yeah, um, I, like, I like the cover here. Very interesting. Yeah, Wattpad has always been uh, one of my favorite publishers in the aspect that I grew up, like, 
reading what patterns of fiction and then now I get their books in their boxes it's pretty amazing to be getting this kind of book mail from them um, didn't expect it uh, I was like this is the first time I guess I'm doing like this maybe I'll you know I'll bake in some time when we get back who knows uh, but yeah no thank you Wapa for doing this I really appreciate it I always love their boxes and they tell them you put behind it because they always have something great to do with the story so you know um, really appreciate your support so thank you so much for sending me in one thing I forgot to say earlier, a uh, reading update on You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight. I am almost done with the first chapter in the audiobook. It's so far, it's interesting. Uh, it just feels like it's just kind of like a reality show slash camp uh, involving horror. It kind of like reminds me of Halloween Hornets or somebody, you know, if the scary actors were living on campus or put it like that um, nearby. So, uh, so far, really interesting. It's supposed to be kind of like a quick read, so that's why I decided to pick this up first. Um, hoping I can finish it, you know, before the end of the week. But yeah, really interesting. So if you haven't read it yet, pick it up and let me know what you think about it. And if you have, comment down below and tell me what your thoughts were. Here we go backstage, uh, taking over, getting ready to go live. But Ed is not paying attention to me. Maybe he will want to see this. Morning, welcome back to the vlog today. Um, yeah, I'm just ready for work. Uh, it's Wednesday. Got one more day. I work Monday through Thursday, so that does help a little bit when I have a three day week to do things. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna be listening to the audiobook for uh, You're Not Gonna Die Tonight uh, on the way to work, and hopefully, while I'm working a little bit here and there, hopefully, get through it. I did finish the first chapter, so I just want to move forward with it, because especially because it's such a short read that I definitely want to go through it and finish it before the end of the week. Uh, hopefully, it's enjoyable. I So far, I'm hooked, so I just hope it keeps going from there. Good morning. Um, I didn't vlog anything yesterday because I was mostly sleeping. Um, I was reading, for, but not much. Um, I mostly listened to the audiobook for You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight. So, uh, so far, I'm in chapter four now. I read about 50 pages, which is good for me at least. I, but it's a short read. It's a, it has about 100, 200 something pages. So I think I could get through this very quickly. So far, uh, really interesting. It's more like kind of like Halloween Horror Nights. But without Universal, just the Halloween Horror Nights kind of setting. So people are able to go to this camp and they basically get paid to get scary. Just like you do Halloween Horror Nights here. Um, but no, I like this. I like the horror references. So far they mentioned Scream, which is a big plus for me. I really love that reference there. Um, but yeah, so far really good. I love the cover too. It's always very intriguing. So yeah, really interesting. I am excited to read more. So again, because I'm going to work this morning, I'm going to be listening to the audiobook uh, as I get to work. And then hopefully we'll listen to the audiobook as well while I work a little bit here and there. Uh, but yeah, really exciting. I'm glad I did the audiobook because it's been a great experience to do both. Um, and I love the narrator there as well. So definitely a plus, a plus for me. So yeah, really uh, excited to continue reading this. Hello everybody. Um, came home from work. I just took a nap. But I want to show a book that I ordered. Uh, I see a, a YouTuber. I think her name is Sarah Curl, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, talking about this book. I haven't really seen a lot of people talk about it, so I wanted to purchase it to see what it was like. Uh, it's called The Summer of Broken Rules. Uh, I really like the cover, so I figured I was to give it a try. And now since I'm home, I will continue on with my reader if you're not supposed to die tonight, because it's been so good so far. Um, yeah, really, uh, like, interested and curious about how this would end uh, how the story continues to begin with as well um, but yeah if you haven't checked it out you can go to my bookstagram i do have a reel uh when i it's the same thing i posted here but i would like to support on it because this is directly coming from weapon and i want to show them the support to the book that is my bff so um that for sure i'm thinking i kind of want to do a video mostly dedicated to reading the inheritance games because i do have now the art to the brothers hawthorne and i think it would be really great to like reread the books that i've read and then read this one because obviously it's brand new and it'll be coming out soon as well so if you would like to see something like that comment down below and let me know because i think that'd be cool to do but yeah uh i just enjoy a little bit of what i have left of my evening and just read the book now
everybody. Uh, welcome back. Uh, as I get probably here for my wipers. Florida water is happening again. A lot of rain. But uh, no, I just left my doctor's appointment. I realized a few days ago that I had a couple gift cards from Starbucks. So I definitely got some Starbucks today on the way to the doctor. Um, and then I want to stop at Target, but unfortunately it started raining. It had no umbrella. So there goes my Target trip. Oh well. Uh, time to go home. I'm hoping to listen more to the audiobook for you. You're not supposed to die tonight. Um, I'm almost halfway through it and it's good like it really picks up but it keeps going once you pick once it you know once you're hooked it keeps going from there I haven't had any moment that I've been bored or anything like that um, and it plus the font is so big and it's just so funny seeing how the chapters are long and the font is so big I'm definitely not used to that in the book but I'm loving it so far so now I'm ready to go home so I can listen to the audiobook everybody for today's vlog we're going to the infinity toy and comic convention here in orlando florida to my lab biker for lunch hello everybody i um, just came back home from a little family that we had uh first we went to the infinity i think it's infinity stone um toy and comic convention i uh, found a shop that lit little custom tumblers so i got the, the scream one that i love and then we went, we had a um, little bit of, I guess, lunch slash brunch. And then we went to see the Blue Beetle and I got a couple of things um, at Five Below and at Ross that I'll show off here. One of the things that I got is a little sweatshirt. It has 1989 in New York, so it reminded me a lot of uh, Taylor Swift. And being that her, her 1989 is coming out soon, I figured this would be a, a great sweatshirt to have. 
Another sweatshirt that I got is one of my other favorite characters, Hello Kitty. I really like the texture of this one and like that it's black. Hopefully when it becomes uh, somewhat cold in here, somewhat I guess, because it's Florida. Second one I got was this one. I really like the design here. I usually don't want anything with pink on it, but it's Hello Kitty, so I had to get it when I saw it. Another thing that I ordered that I didn't realize was going to get here so quickly um, It's the book here, A Close Seduction by Katie Robert I really love her covers and I've been wanting to get all her physical copies to read them all at once So I really like to be getting this one, it's the Barnes & Noble exclusive So it has special content on it, that's the reason why I got it mostly yeah. Yeah.